Saskatoon's Native Theatre Company has had a lot of success in recent years, but the actor's success offstage is equally impressive. Here again is Matthew Prefontaine. But how? I downloaded three recipes off the internet. Two of them will kill you. One might not. Careful which one you choose. The Saskatchewan Native Theatre Company is helping people realize the potential of healing through the arts. Not so much in the physical sense, but on a deeper intellectual, emotional, and spiritual level. Part of what we do here is we, we try and involve as much of the culture, our culture, into our training and our storytelling and the way we do everything around here. And, and it made me look at acting as, as a tool, a tool to not only teach and educate and empower myself, but you know the other youth out there that were just like me getting in trouble and stuff and showing them that there are there, that there is another way and that you can do it and it just happens that the arts is a really powerful and useful way to you know to achieve that using the arts to empower and engage youth was pioneered by the SNTC and their circle of voices program for youth at risk it is a way of breaking the cycle of despair let them discover that there is a healthier way of living and so that's really what the Circle of Voices is meant to do. Show them the path of healthy living. And in that program, they do commit to living a drug and alcohol free life for eight months. With the cultural supports we have, we're able to um, um, support them, counsel them, refer them to other uh, community-based agencies that can help them through those struggles. Um, most, you know, first and foremost, it's about believing in them. Something Aaron, a past participant of the Circle of Voices program, can certainly attest to. He says the experience goes well beyond the stage. It's not only acting that we do here. There's all types of stuff that we can get involved with. There's um, the whole um, cultural component of our training and stuff. I can go and express myself like in a sweat lodge. I can go and go to a sun dance, which is something that's really powerful and significant to me personally. I danced at my first Sundance last summer through SNTC and let me tell you, not eating and dancing in the sun for like four, four days straight is not an easy thing to do and it, it was also just really spiritually uplifting and you know nurturing and you know it was conducive to my personal well-being and growth and, and not only that we do like all types of stuff, music and art, we just had our art auction and we saw like so many great paintings and sculptures and stuff and these are our people that are doing these things and we get to present that to, to people and you know that's really empowering for us here and that's why you know we're here but we stay here we found a home for ourselves you know with our cultural leaders who are becoming our surrogate parents and grandparents because you know I I was you know considered a youth at risk and you know there's that family breakdown and now I'm, I'm learning what a family is, you know, and it's through the arts that I'm learning these things. And For The Health Show, I'm Matthew Prefontaine.